Hi everyone, my name is Connor Bradbury and I'm a student at the University of Michigan. I'm also a student intern at the Plus Impact Studio for Local Business and today I'll be talking about what finances small business owners need in order to apply for and receive aid. And I'll start with the three crucial questions that we've identified um, for this topic and those are, do I have all the relevant documents to apply for aid? Are my financial statements in a presentable format that allows me to apply for grants and loans? And do I need to apply for grants or loans? And to help you small business owners answer these questions, um, we have linked the capital readiness checklist. Um, and I will pull that up here and walk through that with everyone. Um, basically, this is just a, a small checklist, um, pretty simple to go through, uh, that will help you guys start to think about um, how to gather the resources you need in order to apply. Um, it was created by a local group, um, a community resources group uh, here in Michigan, um, but it'll be applicable to, to pretty much any of you small business owners looking to apply for aid or grants. Um, the, the checklist starts off with uh, going into uh, the idea of credit, um, talks about some, some key terms relevant to applying um, for aid, relevant to you as borrowers, uh, which are crucial to know. Um, it has a short introduction on how to use the checklist, um, which will help you as business owners um, become qualified loan applicants um, and get the aid that you may need should there be a second round of, of stimulus passed. Um, it goes into things like status, um, knowing what you're requesting your, your aid for, personal things like your credit score and background um, that are important that, that some lenders look, look at. Um, goes into your marketing and operations, your cash flow, uh, your accounting and bookkeeping methods, different legal aspects and taxes, your history for taxes there. Um, and this checklist will basically help you as you check these boxes off, you'll know that you have all of the relevant documents, all of the relevant information that may be necessary for applying to all these different types of loans and grants that are, that are out there right now for small business owners. At the end, it just goes into a glossary of common terms, different jargon that may be used in a lot of the applications that you guys may be looking at. Um, very helpful just in understanding what you're getting yourselves into, uh, what you're reading, and things like that. So those are the last couple pages. And then it goes into the background of the authors, the people that put this together. Um, but that is our capital readiness checklist um, that we found and think will be of great use to you guys if you're looking at different loans or grants. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.